10 less, 10 more, lesson 7.5. We can identify numbers that are 10 less or 10 more. That means we can find numbers that are 10 less or 10 more than a number by looking at the tens and one places. We have a two in the tens place and a five in the ones place. We have a three in the tens place and a five in the ones place. 25 is 10 less than 35. 25 has two tens, 35 has three tens. That's one less 10 than a three, isn't it? A two. They both have five ones, so the difference is 10. If it has one less 10 and the ones are the same, it's 10 less. If it has one more 10 and the ones are the same, it's 10 more. Here we have 27 and 37. 37 is 10 more than 27. It has one more 10 than 27. They both have seven ones. The only thing that changed is the tens place and it has one more. We can even look at this one as 35 is 10 more than 25. We can use counters to help us compare numbers. Here we have 27 counters. Here we have 37 counters. This has two tens. This has three tens. They both have seven ones. They're different by one ten. See? One rod of ten. This is ten more. This is ten less. Here we have some counters. We have 21, 31, and 41. The ones stay the same. They all have a one in the tens place, in the ones place, right? Sorry about that. One in the ones place. There are one less 10 or one more 10. This has two tens, this has three tens, this has four tens. 21 is 10 less. See, there's one less 10 here. There's only two, and this one has three. 31 is 10 more than 21. It has one more 10 than that one does. 31 is 10 less than 41. It's missing a 10. See, this one has four. That one has three. And 41 is 10 more than 31. It's got one more 10 than that one. So what number is 10 more than 41? Look at the tens place. All the ones are the same. This has two tens, three tens, four tens. So this one, the next one, will have five tens. And the ones are going to stay the same. So 10 more than 41 is 51. Mental math is math that we think about. We don't use paper. We don't use paper and pencil. We just think about it. We can use mental math. Write the numbers that are 10 less and 10 more. So we need to find the numbers that are 10 less and 10 more than 50. The ones place is going to stay the same. And we're going to have 10 less. So that means there's going to be one less 10 here. One less than five is a four, so 10 less than 50 is 40. 10 more, the ones place is gonna stay the same, and there's going to be 10 more ones, or one more 10, so that would be a six, it would be 60. So do you see how the tens place changes by one number? It would be 10 ones because that's what 10 is, it's 10 ones. But we can look at the tens place and just add one or take away one. Let's try 32. The ones place is gonna stay the same and this will go down by one number. We can count back three to two. So it would be 22. 10 more, the ones are gonna stay the same. We'd add another 10. We'd have one more than three, it would be a four. 22, 32, 42. How about 65? 
The ones are going to stay the same, and it's going to be one less ten. So we can take one away from the tens place. That would be a five, fifty-five. Ten more, the ones are going to stay the same, and we'd have one more ten. Six, then it would be one more, would be seven, wouldn't it? Fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy-five. Let's try this one. This one's a little trickier. We have 18. If we had one less 10, there's only one 10 here. So if we took this 10 away, because there's only one, we'd have 8. There would be no 10s. We took that one 10 away. One more 10, we'd have the same amount of 1s, and we'd add one more to the tens place. Instead of one, it would be a two. Eight, 18, 28. Use mental math, complete the chart, explain our method. So it wants us to complete this chart using mental math, and then we have to explain how we did it. This is the column for 10 less. This is the column for 10 more. So 10 less than 45, the ones are going to stay the same. We're going to have 1 less 10. 1 less than 4 is a 3. 10 less is 35. 10 more, the ones are going to stay the same. We'd add one more 10. So instead of a 4, it's going to be a 5. 10 more is 55. 89, 10 less, the ones are going to stay the same, and it's going to be 1 less 10. Instead of an 8, it's going to go down 1 to a 7. 79 is 10 less. 10 more, the ones are going to stay the same, and we're going to add 1 more to the tens place. Instead of 8, we'll have 9. 99. 10 less than 57. The ones are going to stay the same. We're going to take away 110 from the 5, so we're going to have a 4. 47. 10 more, the ones are going to stay the same. We're going to add 1 to the tens place, so instead of 5, we'll have 6. 67. Now here, it's showing the number that is 10 less. We have to come up with 10 more and 10 more. One more 10 would be a 2 here, wouldn't it? And the 1s would stay the same. And 10 more than that, we'd have one more 10, so it would be three 10s, and the 1s are going to stay the same. So we have 34. For our last one, it's showing the 10 more, and we need to go back and back. So we need to find 10 less than 23, the ones are going to stay the same, so it's going to be three ones, and we need to take away a 10 from this tens place. So instead of two, we're going to have one. So this one would be 13. 10 less than 13, we only have one 10 here. So if we took that one 10 away, we would only have a three. See? Our method was adding or taking away from the tens place, and the ones stayed the same. Here we have a riddle. I am a number that is 10 more than 76. I am a number that is 10 less than 96. What number am I? OK, so we know it's 10 more than 76. So 10 more than 76. The ones would stay the same, and we'd have one more 10. So instead of 7, it would be 8. It also says that it's 10 less than 96. The ones stay the same, and one less than 9 is 8. 86. So it worked. It fit both of them. It made it true, the number is 86.
It's 10 more than 76 and 10 less than 96. The number is 86. The only thing that changed was the number in the tens place. The one stayed the same. Choose a way to solve, draw, or write to show our work. The pink flower has five fewer petals than the purple flower. The purple flower has 13 petals. How many petals are on the pink flower? Well, we know that it has five fewer than 13, and that one, the purple one, has 13. We can draw 13 petals, and if the pink one has five fewer, we can take five away. One, two, three, four, five. That is 13 minus 5. We can count how many are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The pink one must have 8 petals. It has 5 fewer than the purple one. We can check it. We can add 8 plus 5, and we can count on. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 8 plus 5 is 13, so we know we did it right. And we showed our work. Bob has 8 toy cars. Dave has 11 toy cars. How many more toy cars does Dave have than Bob? Okay, Bob has 8. Dave has 11. We need to find how many more Dave has than Bob. We need to find the difference between Dave's cars and Bob's cars. And difference means subtraction. We can also write it as Bob's car is 8 plus some number is equal to Dave's, the 11. We can use a related sentence, 11 minus 8 equals that number. We can count back from 11, 11 10, 9, 8. That's 3. We can start from 8 and count on to 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. 3. Either way, we get a 3. So we know Dave has 3 more toy cars than Bob. Lisa has 26 crayons. Emma has 10 more crayons than Lisa. Tim has 10 more crayons than Emma. How many crayons does Tim have? So Lisa has 26, Emma has 10 more than that, and Tim has 10 more than Emma. Lisa has 26, and Emma has 10 more. So we can do the first part of the problem. 10 more than 26, we would add a 10 in the tens place, the ones would stay the same. Ten more would be a three. If the ones stay the same, we'd have a six. So that means the ten more that Emma has, Emma has 36. Lisa has 26, Emma has 36. So Emma has 36. And it said Tim has ten more than Emma. So we need to do it again. 36 and 10 more is, the ones are going to stay the same. We're going to add 1 to the tens place because it's 10 more. 1 more would be a 4, wouldn't it? 1 more 10. So that's 46. So Tim has 46 crayons. So did you see how we solved that? We solved the first part. We knew that Lisa had 26 crayons and that Emma had 10 more than her. So we did this part first. Then we found out how many Emma had. Then we figured out 10 more than Emma's to find Tim's. See? And there's other ways to solve this, but we're working on 10 more right now. Okay? So that's how we solved it this way. Okay. Our next lesson is add and subtract within 20. We're going to do addition and subtraction. It's going to be lesson 8.1.
and it's two digit numbers. Have you been practicing your math facts? It's good to have them memorized. I hope you're having a great day, of course, and I'll see you next video. Bye.